he stood before the king of Israel called Ahab, whose husband, who is the husband of Jezebel. And he says this, as the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall be no dew nor rain. It's one thing not to have rain, at least there's dew in the morning, right? But there shall be no dew nor rain this year except at my word. When you think of prayer, you think of someone's eyes closed and their hands are folded together and they are probably on their knees. And that's the idea of uh, uh, prayer that we most often think of. But here, it was a declaration prayer. When we pray, it's not to soothe. We pray to bring heaven down to earth. What you're doing when you're declaring is this, you are, you are partnering with God. And if Jesus took away our diseases and our sicknesses, and He took away our depression, if I believe that He took them away, and the Bible says He took them away, then I won't be praying prayers like this, like a slave. Oh, Father God, oh God, please God, heal my son. Oh God, heal my daughter. Oh God, please do this, Lord. Oh God, please do that. Because that prayer negates everything that Jesus did. We should be praying because we have influence with God. Every time you come to God, it should be like a wonderful time of like, Oh God, I'm in my room and there's no one here and I'm going to pray and God will hear me. I have power with God. God wants me to have power with Him. God wants me to influence Him. Now, Pastor, I've said it one time before. The, the problem is still there. Okay, listen. In the Greek, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, the say there is in the imperfect tense. You know, perfect tense means once and for all. Imperfect means keep on saying. It's not a matter of how big your faith is. Once you have faith in so small, start saying. Start saying what? To the mulberry tree. Be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea and it would obey you. And that's why I declare blessings over your head. I declare abundance of rain coming your way. I declare abundance of health, abundance of shalom well-being for you and your family this coming year in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.